Hey guys, what's up? Jason's here. Nice to meet you again. Let's keep focusing on the call control. Having finished the inbound road setups, we could just get phone calls from outside very easily. In other words, any of the incoming calls will be well handled to the exact destination. However, the outgoing cost issue is still hanging there. In this video, we'll be working on the outbound road settings to help us manage the outgoing costs and incoming costs simultaneously. As long as the telephone system running normally, it must be well prepared for both inbound and outbound roads. Either of them is not supposed to be in trouble. Now, let's take a look at the outbound call control. As same as the inbound call control, it will be found in the PBX category. Go access the outbound roads directly and click on Add. We will continue on the creation of a new outbound roads. Same as usual. We're supposed to name it as the beginning, and then we will need to make selection of the trunks and extensions. We could select several trunks as we want. Besides, it is available for us to change the priority of these trunks. The order totally defines which trunk will be taken firstly when the outgoing calls on. Now, just select the extensions. After that, our basic outgoing call rule has been finished. In other words, we could start our outgoing calls by picking up the authorized extensions. It's also available for us to import template creating multiple outbound roads as well. However, just like I mentioned, it was just a very basic setting. It won't be as easy as that in our real life. Now, I would like to take an international call rule as our example. First, we will need to name it as international. And here comes the point, the dial patterns. Just have a quick look at the definition of it. As we can see, it has a quite complex rule so that we can set a very accurate method to send our phone calls to the final destination. It is the rule to define our dialing. Let's set the dial pattern. Take number 9 as the first digit of the pattern. Basically, we will choose the number which is not used as the internal extension number, so that the PBX system will recognize the call is for outgoing instead making mistakes. As far as we all know, it is required to add country code to the actual number while making international calls. Normally, we will also need to dial double zero with the country code. So, putting double zero with a dot, just have a quick look at the definition. The dot means there's still something remaining because the number hasn't been finished by three digits. You might also want to know about this trip. As we were discussing, the number 9 doesn't belong to the actual number. In other words, it's supposed to be deleted when we make the phone call. Let's just mention the first number should be deleted. Put 1 in the strip. Now, we have an international dial pattern, and we will need to select available trunks and extensions which will be authorized to make the phone call. Usually, we use SIP trunk for international calls because of the cheap charges. So, take all three SIP trunks. Let's select extensions. Take an example. James, Leah, and Kate belong to the sales team. Basically, it's allowed to make international calls only for sales team. So, just take these to three persons. Currently, we just finished the basic settings of this international outbound road, which means any of those three persons can make international calls whenever they want. But we're pretty much sure about our job hasn't been finished yet. Here we get a password. As we can see, there are two options. Anyway, both options are for helping us to manage this international outbound road. Currently, we have three available extensions to make international calls, which means anyone in the company can make international calls just by picking up the extension 1003, 1004, and 1005. It is absolutely not what we want. Setting a single pane or a pane list could help us to figure it out. With the help of the password, we can make our monitoring and managing job become more than just easy. Single pane is just one single password. As for pane list, as we can see here, it will be more complex. Take an example.
Currently, we have three agents who are authorized to make international calls. We can set a ping list which covers three different passwords, like、uh, triple one, triple two, and triple three. Basically, we could just drop those three passwords to every single agent separately, and、uh, enable recording CDR. From now on, we will have a very clear record in the CDR to check which agent exactly made international calls. About CDR, we will have a further discussion in the following videos. And I'm sure you must have noticed the round robin with memory hunt. Let's just take a look at it. As we discussed, we could change the priority of our selected trunks, which means currently it is totally upon on us to choose the prior trunk for making international calls. In other words, it will always be used if the first trunk is available. That sounds not quite so reasonable. Well, when we enable the round robin with memory hunt, the selected three trunks will start shifting automatically. Which means the system will shift the usage of the selected trunks when we have the international calls, so that there is no trunk be overused or be set aside. That is totally a very efficient method for us to make full use of all resources. Sounds pretty good, right? That was all for the outbound route settings. Now we will need one last step to finish our job. Just click on Save and Apply. Now let's start our international calls. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. To get more updates, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And and want to join A Star Academy for a certified test? Click on the bottom side link. You won't miss it. I will see you guys in the next video.